Hello, and welcome to Ginger Engineering. In this video, I'll be showing you how to program a bumper switch for the VEX Cortex using EZC V4 or V5. First thing you're going to do is open up your program open up your project that you already have your robots operator control built for now you're gonna head back over to controller configuration like you do when you're first setting up your operator control and you're gonna come over to analog and digital and over here where all these uh, arrows are you're going to go through 9 through 12 not, you're gonna start at 9 through 12 and click these arrows so that they're facing the other direction what this does is allows you to use all 12 of your digital ports when using sensors. Now for this for this program I have my bumper switch plugged into port 8 so I'm just gonna write in bumper right there and press OK. Now the first thing you're gonna do for uh, programming the actual bumper switch is head over to operator control and you're gonna go to variables double click that and in type you're gonna drop that down and select unsigned character for name you can name it anything I'm just going to name it bumper and press OK. Now you're going to go to inputs, select bumper switch, click on that, drag that over, and just put it within the while loop just on top of all your already there stuff. And for the digital input, this is where you select which port you're using. Mine, like you, you can see the comment right there, I've got bumper in port 8. And then the retrieve to, this is the variable that we just created, so bumper and you can comment on that or just leave it how it is now just press OK and then uh, you can close that inputs then you're gonna wanna go to program flow click and drag over an if loop and you can just put that right underneath within the while loop right underneath all the code you already have there and you're gonna type in or you can just select add variable over here bumper equals equals zero and then you can write in a comment if you'd like and then press OK. Now what this does, this what this means is during the operator control period if the bumper is pressed then all this code within the brackets here will be executed. Now right now we don't have any code but we're gonna put some in. So to do that it's very similar to the autonomous program. You go to outputs and click and drag over motor modules to um, to start motors you'll put in the weight from program flows to put the time in and you'll stop them using motor modules again so I'll do an example for my robot when my bumper switch is hit I want the robot to move backwards so I've got the right motor I'm gonna select this all right we got right drive all right get another motor module do the left drive All right, and then we want a weight. We're gonna have it drive backwards for one thousandths. So it's driving backwards. All right, and then we can just copy these, paste them, turn them into stopping blocks, and voila. Now we have a program that runs all the regular operator control uh, buttons on your controller and then if the bumper switch is pressed then it's going to execute this code which means the robot's going to back up for 1000 milliseconds. Bye -bye. 